Hey, praise the Lord, everybody. I just wanted to give this message that the Lord really put on my heart, my mind, my body, soul, and spirit. Just, it's just amazing. And it's a great encouragement, a great encouragement in um, a brother in Christ. Darren recently brought this up, one of these verses that I'm about to share. And all right, the message is stop overthinking. Stop being so smart that you become stupid. Stop being so quote unquote smart that you become stupid. Matthew 18, 3 through 4. This is what Jesus says in the book of Matthew. And said, Truly I say to you, unless you are converted and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever then humbles himself as this child, he is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. You're thinking your mindset, then it needs to be the thinking and mindset of a child. Um when it comes to, you know, the kingdom of God, understanding the kingdom of God, the way that God works, God is going to best work through you when you humble yourself and become like a child in your understanding. Becoming a child in your understanding. So important. So key. So key. You know, some people, they overthink things so much that, that they go away from Christianity. They just overthink things so much. How could this be? How could this, that, and that, that, that? Uh, and then they just, it drives them crazy and they go off. And this can go on so many different levels, so many areas in Christianity. Uh, for example, you know, the Bible translations, there is translation contradictions. Yes, there is translation contradictions in, uh, in the English Bibles. Especially the King James Version. Oh yeah, especially the King James Version. And the King James Version, it's still, it's my favorite, if not one of my most favorite translations. Oh yeah, there's contradictions in it. There's translation contradictions in it. The theme still remains the same. The meaning still remains the same. But there is translation contradictions in it. But e even how it is, we're still, we're able to understand what's going on we're able to understand the meaning the theme the theme you know does not change okay but there's no translation errors in the word of god okay god had this had to be this way there is translation errors and god had to be so you want to know why to see who are his true children and who are not to see who's gonna go by Oh, this is an error in it. No, I'm I'm going away from Christianity. There is an error in it. He did he let it be so to see who are his true his true children and who are not. Let's go on. First Corinthians two one. And when I came to you, brethren, I did not come with superiority of speech or of wisdom, proclaiming to you the testimony of God. See, when Paul, you know, Paul talks about how he didn't come with wisdom of speech, perfect, nice, you know, college, uh, college paper essay, language, speech. He came with the power of God, being led by the Holy Spirit. Romans one twenty two, professing to be wise, they became fools. This is the exact message. Don't become so smart that you become stupid. Okay, it has pleased God. It has pleased God to make these things so to see who will truly follow them and who won't. You guys know the verse. I'm sure a lot of you guys, you know, you know this verse, you've heard it. Without faith, we cannot please God. He's given us more than enough to realize, to realize that he's the way, the truth, and the light. And if you're going to go by, oh, there's a translation error. Oh, the King James Version. Then you go on to the next English translation. Oh, let's try the NASB. Oh, there's a translation error there. Nope, I'm not serving God anymore. Because, no, 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 no. God ought to be so. To see who would truly follow him and who wouldn't. Okay, but let's be correct. In the Word of God, there's no contradictions, but there is translation contradictions, okay? 
The Bible is first written Hebrew and Greek, okay? Hebrew and Greek, all right? But even with the, you know, the translation contradictions, the meaning, the theme, the story remains the same, okay? You're still able to get the understanding from how it is, okay? And the, this message of not overthinking, it applies to so many different levels of Christianity. Um, just, you know, preaching the word, you know, you don't overthink preaching the word, you know, first, uh, second Timothy four, two says, preach the word of God, be instant in season and out of season, rebuke, reprove, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That verse right there gives you, it gives you the right, the license. If you're a child of God to preach anything that's in the word of God, you know, you don't, it's not, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Okay. And, you know, when it comes to now, I'm actually attending a Bible college currently, but when it comes to Bible colleges, I've heard how people, they go to Bible college and they'll get into certain classes, like certain, maybe like it's theology classes, and they'll go, you know, they, they'll depend so much on the theology and how, oh, this has to be lined up, this, 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 that they end up leaving the faith. But, you know, if they were really of the faith, uh, like would they actually have left, ended up leaving it, you know? John and first John, you know, I think it's first John where he talks about they went out from us so that it'd be revealed that they really weren't of us so that it'd be manifest that they were actually of us. But, um, you know, so, you know, be careful, you know, especially those attending, you know, quote unquote Bible college without faith, we can't please God. Okay. You know, there's a lot of people that are just theology, 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 you know, Jesus says, that true worshipers worship in spirit and in truth okay and also he says you gotta you have to your understanding needs to be like a child he says up for a reason you know if you're you you try to pinpoint everything and try to figure out all the answers it's gonna drive you insane it's gonna drive you insane where were we Yep, let's just, I'll say Romans one twenty two again. Professing to be wise, they became fools. 1 Corinthians one twenty five. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. That's key. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. I'm telling you, if you're having trouble... If you're having trouble overthinking things, bind those wicked, you know, they might be wicked spirits. Just bind that, whatever. Bind it. Say, Lord, give me understanding. Give me perfect faith. You know, there is a gift talked about in 1 Corinthians. I believe it's around the lines of the gift of faith. And, you know, you have to have faith to begin with, but there is some people, they have just, mm, their faith goes way up big time they have the gift of faith all right you know pray to god give me the gift of faith father increase my faith all right yeah okay you know if you're having trouble with this pray to god tell him to bind those wicked thoughts spirits stick to him capture with christ and go read first corinthians chapters one and two the full chapters are just amazing. First Corinthians one twenty, where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? Has not God made the foolish? Oh, okay. Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? Has not God? made foolish the wisdom of the world. Yes, God has made, you know, the quote-unquote wisdom that this world thinks that they have foolishness. Hebrews 10, 38. Now, I believe this is talking about, you know, Jesus Christ. And, you know, we're the body of Christ. So, this is, you know, when, uh, you know, we're a part of the body of Christ if you're a Christian. We all have our parts to play in the body of Christ if you're a true born-again Christian. All right, Hebrews 10.38. But my righteous one shall live by faith, 
and if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. But my righteous one shall live by faith. Okay. Praise the Lord. God bless you. If you're a servant of the king, God bless you. If you're still a child of the devil, repent of your sins. Repent, confess your sins, forsake your sins. Believe in Jesus Christ, which includes following him, trusting in him. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. You guys take care. Take care in the Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is the king. Amen.